Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy World Wide Web Wednesday. Y'all, we got a show today. <laughs> we got updates. I'm what, a few minutes late? Because literally my sister called me four minutes before I'm supposed to go live. And I'm looking at my phone like, why is she calling me? She know I'm about to go live. And she like, girl, it's an update. So y'all, I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail. We're going to be talking about this Carly Russell case today because baby, this is all the rage right now on social media. There was no way that I could do a World Wide Web Wednesday without discussing this case. So again, thank you so much for being here. My name is Terry and welcome to my kitchen. In addition to discussing this Carly Russell case, we will be making a pasta sauce from scratch. So y'all know I live in Arizona. Today is the first day of school for my daughter's district. Yes, I know it is only July 19th and she is starting school. I am not mad. They have like a year round model. So she's starting today and this was her request. I told her, what do you want me to make you for dinner? I'm going to be going live. So I'll cook whatever you want on live. And y'all, her favorite thing is spaghetti. So I'm going to show y'all how I make a pasta sauce from scratch. And what are we going to be using? None other than my green seasoning. I'm always talking about it. So I'm going to show you again today what we, how I use it, another way I use it in my pasta sauce. If you're interested in getting the recipe, because I'm sure once you see how I make this sauce and how good it's going to look, you're going to want the recipe to the green green seasoning. So I already have it linked in the description. So be sure to check that out. It's a quick video. It's very simple. The hardest part about it is just getting the ingredients. All right, y'all. So we got plenty to do today. Let's get started. <laughs> How are y'all today? I do see some folks in the comments already. Y'all ready to chat, honey. I see my sister, she got off the phone with me and came straight to the live. She said, girl, 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 girl. Let me just say, before we get into this whole case situation, let me just say that I advise people when things are reported out in the news to just wait. Don't jump to conclusions. Just wait. See what the facts are. And then form your opinions because folks will have you out here looking like a whole damn fool. Okay. All right. So let's see who is here. Look, <laughs> Miss Peach Love said, just as the conference ends, here we are. Yes, we are. Thank you so much for being here, Celeste. I see uh, Yvette is here today, so thank you so much. Make sure y'all like this video so that everybody can see where the party is here on YouTube. It definitely helps the algorithm, helps people find me, find my channel, so be sure to like the video if you're not already subscribed, but I'm sure you are. But if for some reason you aren't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and kick that, click that subscribe button. Okay, so we're going to be making spaghetti, of course. You know, everybody had their own spaghetti recipe. I ain't trying to tell you how to make spaghetti. I'm trying to show you how I use the green seasoning. And we're going to be making this from scratch. So it's important to show you what I do to make my sauce from scratch. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is chop up all my veggies. I'm going to have quite a few different things. We're going to be chopping up some onions. I got some mushrooms, garlic. I even have a carrot. Look, spaghetti, especially if you're a parent, spaghetti is the perfect way to get a whole lot of vegetables so your kids can eat vegetables. Because for some reason, some people, kids don't like to eat vegetables. I see somebody else in the chat. Mona D, thank you so much for joining. All right, so let's get to it. As I'm cutting my veggies, we're going to talk homegirl, okay? We're going to talk Carly Russell. All right, y'all. All right, all right. So... Everybody here, y'all, look, I know y'all ain't been living under no rock, so y'all know who Carly Russell is. Y'all know who she is. Y'all know why we gonna talk about her. But just in case some people are confused, let me put something underneath this 
so it doesn't move. Just in case some people are confused, I'm going to give a little rundown. So I just have to say that I have been somewhat fascinated by this case since it first started. Um, initially, I w it was reported that I, I saw her pictures and stuff online because it was initially reported that uh, she's about 25 years old, young black woman in Hoover, Alabama. If you're not familiar with Alabama, Hoover is a suburb outside of Birmingham. It's a nicer suburb. Um, it, I've been to Hoover actually a few times. I have a college friend that grew up in Hoover and graduated high school out there. So I have been to Hoover. I was actually just there last year for a wedding. So it's a nice little suburb outside of Birmingham. So it's not the sticks because I know people in the comments on some of these uh, social medias was thinking, oh, it's Alabama. No, baby. Birmingham is a city. It may not be Chicago or New York, but baby girl, it is a city. So Hoover or this girl, we know she called the police because she heard or she, according to her, there was a toddler on the freeway by themselves. She called the police. What is Derek talking about? What you were talking about in the comments there? I don't know, but hello to you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So she called the police. She called 911. She also called a family member. The She told the police that there was a toddler on the freeway walking by himself with a diaper on. Next thing you know, I think she also called a family member. Next thing you know, she and the toddler gone by the time the police get there, right? Supposedly she got out of the car, checked on the toddler. She gone. I'm not going to lie. When I first heard the story, I was like, dang. Folks out here using kids to lure people to do some sex trafficking. Like we know that's a thing. I live in Arizona. Arizona is a border state. If you are geographically impaired, it is right here on the border of Mexico. And so because of that, it's a lot of stuff going on here that people don't really talk about in the news. It's a lot of missing women. A lot of Native, a lot of Native American women are becoming, are just coming up missing. So, you know, during the Super Bowl, we just had the Super Bowl here. That was a huge campaign they were doing, you know, letting people be aware of things to be concerned about. They're always talking on the news about ways that people, creative ways that people are using to abduct women and take them into these, you know, essay rings. So, that was my first first thought, like, oh, my God, they done lured this girl on out her car with a baby. They done took her away and we ain't never going to see her again. Her family's never going to see her again. I was really sad. Right. I was real scared for sis because rarely do you find people that are abducted. You find them alive. Well, y'all, as we all know, two days later, just like the rising of Trice on Easter weekend. Two days later, two, three days later, here she come walking up on her parents' doorstep. She's alive. She's found. Praise Jesus. She's not, you know, deleted. All right. So. When she came back, I was like, wow. She came back. The girl was found. And she is alive. Praise the Lord, right? You know, I don't even go to church, but I, I was happy. I was praising God for them. But I also was like, wait a minute, she came back. So, huh? And she just walked up on her parents' doorstep? Like, I was like, okay, whatever. I never said anything online. Let me just say this. I never said anything online. I didn't even post her. Put me on the cross if you want to crucify me. You can do that. But I never post or repost or anything. Rarely do I repost people like, you know, people missing and all that kind of stuff because I just don't. Maybe on Facebook, but not on Instagram. So I didn't repost her. But, you know, I was keeping up with the story. Me and my friends were all talking about it like, oh, my God, this is so sad. But at the same time, we were all thinking like, you know, well, I'm glad that they're reporting on this because let's keep it real. Rarely do black women get airtime, you know, for stuff like this. We never are like victims, really, it, when it comes to stuff like this. They always, you know, Becky can get airtime and they're going to look for her. But they don't really be looking for Keisha. OK, so we like, OK, you know, even sis was even on CNN, like everybody was concerned. 
lo and behold, as the details started coming out, <laughs> as they started reporting about sis came back, it got a little tricky. Let's see what y'all talking about in the comments because y'all going off. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Miss Peach Love says, I lived in Hoover when I was there. It's very nice and excellent schools. It is a nice place. Uh, yeah, it was a toddler. Read between the lines. Yes, this toddler was Caucasian. Derek says, the whole story reminds me of Ju <laughs> Juicy Smollett. The kid had a MAGA hat on. Stop. Miss Peach Love says, I was so distraught when I heard it. Worry about my girls because they definitely are going to stop for a baby. Yeah, you know what? Okay, so let me tell y'all something. This is actually a real story. Okay, so right now I'm cutting up some portobello mushrooms. I'm just going to dice them. I love mushrooms in my pasta sauce. Growing up, my grandmother, when she would use um, like a jarred sauce or, yeah, like a jarred sauce, she would always buy like the mushroom pasta sauce. So... Of course, y'all know I like to make things from scratch. Really do I use jars and cans and stuff for things. So when I make my pasta sauce, I like to add in mushrooms. And again, if you aren't the hugest mushroom fan, that is fine. Dice them up. Your kids will never know once you start cooking all of this down with all the meat and stuff. Again, it's a great way to get more vegetables. But yeah, when I first heard this story, it reminded me of a situation. I was actually driving um, in central Phoenix to a friend's house. And there was this girl on the side of the road, a little girl. Um, it was a residential street, but it was a little girl. And she was like trying to get my attention. And I was like speeding down the street because I'm always speeding. I'm speeding down the street. And I'm thinking like, why is that little girl waving her arms? And I was like, I hope she okay. I was like, I don't know that little girl. I ain't trying to stop. You never know what can happen people crazy. I don't want nobody thinking I'm trying to steal her. this kid. I'm a black woman. This a little Mexican little girl looking girl. Uh -uh, I ain't got time for this. Like, I'm like, hopefully everything is okay. And when I came back, she was gone. So I don't know what happened. But it kind of reminded me of that. And I was like, man, what if they really did use a baby to lure her? Yes, not only did she come back, she was dropped safely at the doorstep. Yep, it is kind of giving Jesse Smollett Look, at first, you know what, y'all was going to be real diplomatic and I was going to be real nice and keep keep it cute. I wasn't going to offer up any opinions and anything like that. But y'all, it was a press conference today. And according to my sister, when she called me four minutes for the live, the police department is not happy. OK. All right. So. We know that she came back and all those kind of stuff. First, we're going to go through the details, the timeline, okay? We're going to go through the timeline. Y'all are already engaged. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all thinking. You know what, Derek? Look, a vodka sauce does sound good. You can always add vodka to your sauce. We're not making a vodka sauce. We're making, we are actually going to be putting alcohol in this. We're going to be using some red wine. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh, look who we have here. Smoke and Talk is in the building. Thank you so much for joining. Love to see you here. Thank you so much for the support. Hope you're doing well. All right. Make sure y'all follow Smoke and Talk. All righty. Okay. So let's go over the timeline real quick. So on Thursday, what day was that? July 13th, around 9. 34 p.m. The Hoover Police Department got a 911 call from Carly Russell stating that she saw a male toddler on the interstate near the John Hawkins Parkway exit in Hoover, Alabama. Okay. So that is what happened around 934. She then stopped to check on the child, called a family member, according to police. The family told investigators they lost contact with her, but her line would still remain open. I don't know what that means. Do y'all know what that means? The line remain open? Do they mean that she never hung up the phone? 
do they mean that like her phone never got um it didn't start going to voicemail like her phone like i'm confused at what they mean the line was still open like in, in cell phone world you either hang up or you're still on the call like i don't this ain't landline so i'm confused by what they mean by that maybe one of y'all can give me some insight on that but i'm a little confused so when police arrived on the scene they found carly's car her belongings but there was no sign of her or the toddler no sign of her or the toddler my sister says i'm skipping her comment i'm assuming she's talking about this i speed and i speed yep <laughs> Derek, you'll be fine red wine is good i'm gonna show y'all Okay, so Derek is saying she never hung up. That's what that means? Okay, cool. If she, so if she never hung up, okay, I'm not gonna ask no questions yet. Let me wait, let me wait for my questions. Okay, so officials say after, okay, police have not, cause I'm look, I'm, I got my notes from what I saw on the news website. Look at this. Smoking Talk says, make sure y'all tune in for a special birthday live stream this Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. We will be there. Smoking Talk, we will be there. Definitely make sure y'all go and um, put your notifications on for Smoking Talk's live stream. So, police have not been able to locate anyone from the time Carly left where she picked up the food to the time she made um, the 911 call. Um so the officials say that after leaving the colonnade, I think that's where she worked. She worked at a, a spa in the colonnade, which is the mall, basically. Um, she stopped at Target on Highway 280, purchased some snack food type items, maybe some Cheez-Its. <laughs> ah! Maybe she purchased Cheez-Its. <laughs> if you know, you know. Ah! And then um, before arriving at the scene of her disappearance, they the, those items were not found anywhere in or around her car so the snack items was gone carly was gone the kid was gone the only thing that was there was her wig her wig her phone and i think they said her keys but the food that she had purchased was gone then of course we know on saturday two days later just like jesus she arrived at her parents' house in Hoover. Police also revealed that they have surveillance footage taken from the neighborhood and they can see Carly walking down the street alone arriving before arriving to her parents' house, which was Saturday night. These are just the facts of the case that I'm going over. I haven't offered my opinion just yet, but I do want to go over these facts because I think it's important to discuss what the official facts are. And this is facts that are coming from the Hoover Police Department that is being reported by the local news there in Alabama. OK. All right. Let's see what y'all y'all talking about in this chat because y'all going off. OK. Peach Love says she did a Google search about Amber Alert age limits and if it costs also how to steal out the register where was this reported at okay whoa okay also if the phone never got turned off they can ping it off the towers true but they only i mean your ping is going to be based off of your location. So she, if the phone was left at the scene of where her, you know, she disappeared, that's the last thing that she's going to, they're going to know, which I'm not going to, okay. I'm not going to ask that question just yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what else I got. So this is after she arrived home on Saturday. It says, the initial report that Russell or Carly was unresponsive was proven to be information relayed to dispatchers by a 911 caller, but she was conscious and speaking at the time of her transport 
to UAB. So they called 911, but then they decided to take her to the University of Alabama hospital. I distinctly remember mom saying in her, um, or maybe was it the ambulance who took her to the hospital? It didn't say. It didn't say in the in the article. But I do remember the mom saying that uh, when she got there, she was, they wanted to hug her, but they didn't hug her because they needed to make sure that she was okay and, you know, you know, all that kind of stuff. You can tell that she was distraught and all that other kind of stuff, which rightfully so. I, I, I totally understand that. All right. So we got our green bell peppers. We got our mushrooms cut up. We got some onion cut up. I'm going to cut up some garlic and then I'm going to peel and dice up my carrot as well. Okay. They also say the Zoom Zooms and Wham Wham she picked up from Target and the stolen items from work were gone with her. Leslie, what are you know what? My sister going off in the comments. I wonder if she had her shoes on. I'm curious about that too. Yvette says, oh man, this sounds like it's a mess. Why? Oh, okay. Peach Love says this is from the conference today. I was trying to pull up the news conference. Once I'm done, once we get our sauce ready, I'm going to pull up the press conference, y'all. We're going to see what we can find. Because you know what? I was raised in the 90s. I don't watch all the crime shows with Law and Order, Unsolved Mysteries, Investigative Discovery. Look, us folks in our late 30s and in our 40s and even into our 50s and up we love a good investigative show okay we everybody think they the police we gonna investigate something and let me tell you something something that's kind of annoyed me that i have seen on social media people talking about why y'all won't just take her word for it look y'all say all the time black women gonna find out something if it's one thing black women gonna do it's gonna investigate something we gonna investigate i'm gonna find out Everything about you that I got to find out because I'm going to be looking all over the internet. Okay. All over. We know where to look, how to look, what to look for. She also on that same day watched Taken. I, wait, is all of this from the press conference or are you making this up? <laughs> oh. Look, here he come. Here he come with his mess. But you know it's true. Y'all investigate ish that's not even there. Look, if, if it wasn't there, I wouldn't have to investigate. I'm just saying. I ain't never had a hunch about a person, whether it be male or female, and it was wrong. I'm going to just say that. Okay. So I have a few questions before I find out what's going on with this press conference. Because this morning... It was released that the police never found evidence of a toddler. There was a tape. Y'all know it's traffic cams everywhere. In 2023, it's very hard to do anything in public without it being recorded. Hell, it's even hard to do something outside your house without it being recorded, whether you're in an apartment, townhome, community, or in a regular uh, neighborhood with single family homes. This day and age, half the people in the United States have a ring doorbell or something similar we all have seen the videos of people on the ring doorbells not only can you see great visuals them ring doorbells have amazing cameras you can also get the audio too so i'm just saying it's very peculiar that people really do be trying to get away with stuff these day and age because it's really hard to hide things it's it's there are cameras everywhere especially on the highways it's for safety reasons all type of stuff so that camera or that um video that they showed of carly's car stopping on the freeway i'm gonna be honest even though it was dark you never not once saw any type of um shadow of additional person i know that they didn't release the entire video but i also know that in this day and age there are ways to enhance videos Brighten them up so that you're able to see exactly what's going on. Here he come. Here he go. 
Yes, yes, yes. We know black women are very creative when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> All right, let's see what else y'all talking about. I see we got a few more people. Shout out to Real Bravado Network. He coming in with the smoke already. We got Tasha Robinson in the comments. Thank you so much for joining, my girl. Oh, she said she, girl, my sister called me four minutes before the live started because there was a press conference, okay? Hey, y'all, I'm going to be taking over another YouTube channel tonight, me versus, Lord, this might be risky. Is that the name of the YouTube channel? Drop the link, drop the link. All right. So let me ask y'all a few questions. And y'all tell me what y'all thinking. And like I said, once I get my sauce started, my meat on, then I will go ahead and look up this news conference because I want to know what the police chief got to say. Apparently, the police chief is upset, okay? The Hoover police chief is upset. I think that they think they've been had. Hoodwink, bamboozle, run them up, okay? So I have a few questions, and I really want to ask y'all these questions. This was going to be, I had this outline all together. Then boom, we got a whole new, we got new breaking news. Then I had a whole uh, press conference. So now I'm not even going to be, um, I'm not going to be cute no more about this. I was going to be real cute. I was going to keep my opinions to myself. Forget that. Okay. I'm just going to let it hang all out. All right. So my first question is prior to this press conference, why haven't the police released any type of statement regarding that people need to be on alert? Y'all know typically when things happen, um, typically when somebody gets missing or something like that, they'll go and they'll release things like, hey, you know, the public needs to be mindful. There are people like, for instance, I told you I live in Arizona. They've been doing sex trafficking type things here, taking women, abducting women. There's hundreds, if not thousands of native women alone that are missing, um, but all types of women, black women, Hispanic women, white women, native women, but especially women of color. Typically, we don't get a lot of airtime. A lot of us don't. Black, Hispanic, native, we don't. But when Becky come up missing, they pull out all the stops. And typically, when this happens, they be like, oh, you know, ladies, you need to be careful. Even when they have robberies at ATMs, they tell you, you need to be careful. If you have to go to the ATM, make sure you go during the daytime. Make sure it's well lit. Make sure you know you watch your surroundings, all this kind of stuff. I ain't seen not one warning from the Hoover Police Department since all of this happened. If, if they had a warning, let me know. Y'all let me know if there was a warning because I ain't seen one. Oh, she really was Googling stuff. Oh, my God. So, Miss Peach Love says, all right, y'all, before I read the comment, for my pasta sauce, this is the last veggie that I am cutting up. I'm going to dice up some carrots. Again, this is a great way to get additional veggies into your children because we know some kids really don't like vegetables. Mine does, but I still like to add as many vegetables as I can. So I just like to dice up some carrots to add to this delicious pasta sauce we're going to make. Okay, so Miss Peach Love says the chief said her claim that the baby walked six football fields, which was while she followed. Ain't no way. Ain't no way no baby walking six football fields down the freeway and they don't get hit. They don't veer off into traffic or something. Most of us in this chat either have kids of our own or have been around children well enough to know that toddlers, you got to watch them because they will be everywhere. And they don't have the capacity to walk on the side of the freeway and not get hit. I always thought that was peculiar too. Like the baby wall was walking on the freeway and not no person, not one person got out the car, not one person called the ambulance or called the uh, 911 to report the baby. 
like that is something they said from the very beginning that she was the only person who called and reported about a baby nobody reported about a missing baby nothing so in my head when that came out like i said i initially thought uh oh like it's on some sex trafficking ring type stuff like they trying to this they new way of getting people that's what i thought always got to take a piece of the carrot all right so we have our veggies Real Bravado Network, he on one. <laughs> I was trying to be neutral. Uh-uh, she pissed me off. Tasha also said she was Googling before she... So was she Googling at work? She was Googling stuff at work. So that's how they know. I did see before I went live that I did check the news. The spa that she worked at, they released a statement. But unfortunately, I was not able to read the statement. Let's see. Did you see the episode of Dateline? A white lady did the same thing a couple of years ago. She shacked up with a boyfriend. Meanwhile, husband and kids were searching for her. Carly don't watch Dateline. I mean, that's what the movie Gone Girl is about. Everybody done seen Gone Girl, right? That's a good movie. If you haven't seen Gone Girl, make sure you go watch that movie. It's bomb. It's a good movie. And it's basically about a white woman. Staging her disappearance. That's what it's about. All right. Time to make our sauce. Let's get our. It is some mess. I see Celeste in the comments saying it's some mess. This is some mess. You know, the thing that kind of pissed me off from the very beginning, once I started seeing that, like, none of this really makes any sense at all, is the fact that, like, like I said earlier, there are so many women of color because it ain't just black women like i said i'm here in arizona all these native women gone but especially black women there are so many women young girls and women that are missing they get zero airtime like zero airtime on the news nobody's really putting out search uh search teams and all this kind of stuff they had over 50 police that came to hoover they had search parties this girl showed up on cnn they had the the FBI reaching out to Hoover police to try to help them. Like there were so there was literal efforts, you know, people were very concerned. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact if you know anything about Hoover, Hoover is not a poor area. It's a nice area. The house that they showed that she showed up at, if those are her parents house, clearly they ain't poor. They got a few little dollars. So like she went to college because she is a she's a member of an organization that ain't mine, but she is a member of a black sorority. So, you know, she she supposedly was in nursing school at UAB. So this girl from the outside looking in initially from the reports of the story, it looked like she had a lot going for herself. And so, like, I think that probably helped with like, oh, my God, you know, we got to find this little girl or not little girl, but this woman she's missing. We need to see what's going on. All right. But then once she get come home, that's when all the BS starts. I'm not necessarily going to go into all of the detail, all of the things that they're talking about on social media. I've seen so many allegations flying. All right. I also have some water back here. I'm going to turn that on so we can make our pasta. I'll show y'all. That the pasta that I'm going to be using for today's sauce is some thin whole wheat spaghetti. I like to use whole wheat pasta as much as I can. It helps a little bit better in terms of digestion. So that's why I use it. Feel free to use whatever type of pasta you want. They have gluten-free pasta, all types of things. But I like to use whole wheat because it does seem to not bloat me as much as regular pasta. So... Let's see what else y'all talking about in the comments. Oh, wow. Tasha says she Googled how to get a one-way ticket. Do you pay for Amber Alerts? Except how to get a one-way ticket, girl, just go buy one. Oh, God. 
You know what's also disappointing, y'all? I'm sorry. I'm just going to say that Gen Z is slow. Gen Z is real slow. Because I feel like if this was like a millennial, especially an older millennial or a Gen Xer, like we could have wrote this story a little bit better than this. This plot would be way thicker and it would be a little bit more believable. Like, why are you Googling this type of stuff at work? It's going to make you look guilty of something. Like, come on. If you really are planning your disappearance, there are specul there's lots of theories around why she was trying to disappear and all that kind of stuff. But if you're planning on doing this, don't you think you should be on somebody VPN Googling things so people can't pull up your search history? I mean, Jesus Christ. Help the children, Lord. All right, so we're going to start out with some olive oil. We're going to start by browning our meat first. Sometimes I like to brown my veggies first, but actually, no, we'll start with the veggies. We'll start with the veggies. Let's see. Carly says she was kidnapped by a white man in an 18-wheeler. That's what she told police when she saw the police. Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> she pulled a sleeping with the enemy. She told the police her captors took photos of her and make her take her clothes off. Yes, I'm telling you live with this. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did she live with her parents? If not, how come she didn't go home? I believe she did live with her parents. All right. I've gone back and forth. I'm going to start with the with the meat. So we're going to start by with some ground turkey. I'm going to be using two different meats today. The first one is some ground turkey. And then this is lean ground turkey at that. So it's like 93.7. Then we're also going to be using some hot Italian sausage. I actually have like a pack of hot Italian sausage. You can get, they didn't have any turkey sausage. Typically when I make pasta, I like to use turkey and beef. But today I'm using turkey and swine because it's fine. So I'm just going to use two of the sausage links. I'm going to actually cut them open to get them out of the casing. You can actually buy the sausage already out of the casing, but you know, food is expensive. This was a little bit cheaper, so it's not that hard to just cut the natural casing off and then you can put it inside of your sauce. Same thing we're going to do with this one. Just going to cut open the natural casing and squeeze this out. All right. Okay. Let me wash my hands again. And then we're going to chop this meat up. Y'all are going off in these comments. Let's see. But when she went to the hospital, there was money in her sock. Money? Oh, Lord Jesus. See, this just keep going. Yes, Tasha with the details. Come on. Let's see. My sister says she bought cheeses because she claims the woman captor fed her cheese crackers. I did. I do remember hearing that, that they fed her cheeses. So if there's ever a kitchen tool that I'm going to recommend, this is one of them. I actually got this from, um, uh, what is the name? Pampered Chef. But I, I've seen these in other places. You can actually probably even find one on Amazon. It helps to break up your ground meat. I like to break it up as much as possible. Okay. Turn that up. So we can cook that meat, get a little char on the bottom because that helps with the flavor. This press conference is wild. <laughs> Real Bravado Network says, is this an 80s trucker movie, right? Like, it sounds so contrived. It's not even like a good lie. If I'm going to lie, I'm going to get me an air gun. Listen, if I'm going to fake my disappearance, 
y'all not about to find me okay first of all first of all i'm going to make sure i'm gone for real i live too close to mexico to be playing around still in the united states if i'm trying to fake my disappearance even in alabama girl you could have dipped off and went to mississippi real quick got all the way down drove all around the coast and got your ass to texas and left okay but no you over here on some bs at red roof Inn. that's also a rumor i don't know if that's true but there's a rumor that homegirl was at red roof Inn. there's so many rumors going around again this is all alleged i am not sure we have our our people in the chat that are reporting the details from the press conference i really appreciate y'all because i had trouble pulling that up all right so now that this is browning up i am going to start by adding in our veggies we're going to add in the onions i got this up i'm going to add in our onions we're going to add in our bell peppers we're going to add in our carrots as well because we want those to get nice and soft. Let's go ahead and whisk this around. We're going to also season. So make sure when y'all are making your pasta sauce, you season at all times, okay? As you're cooking, you want to season. This is why people be having bland spaghetti sauce, okay? Bland pasta sauce because they only season one or two parts. So we're gonna start with the green seasoning, the star of the show. As always, I gotta remind y'all, green seasoning is a perfect all-purpose, oil-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, it's everything free, it's vegan basically. Salt-free, all-purpose seasoning, it's made from, um, a bunch of herbs and aromatics highly recommend there is a link in the description of this video you can use it on so many things i'm going to put a big tablespoon full of green seasoning in there this is going to add in so much flavor a lot of natural herbs or fresh herbs to make this oh it smells good already all right let me show y'all some of the seasonings I'm going to be adding into here as well. So first, we're going to use the Kinder seasoning I just bought the other day, roasted garlic and brown butter. I'm going to put a little bit of that. This is not heavy in sodium. It's only 100 milligrams of salt in here. So we're just going to put a little bit of that, not too much. Our salt source for now will be are better than bouillon this is the beef flavor roasted beef base even though we're using ground turkey i like that beef flavor for my pasta sauce so we're gonna just be using a little bit of that not too much because this is salty and we don't want it to be over salted i'm also going to be using this simple truth organic tuscan style how you say this trattoria I don't know. It's like an Italian seasoning. It's not 100% salt free, but it's very, very low in sodium. It's only 35 milligrams for a half a, a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'm just going to, you know, season that nicely. It has a bunch of Italian herbs in here. I'm going to also add in your you know, old faithful Italian seasoning, more dried herbs. In my opinion, you can never have too many herbs. I love them. A lot of herbs. We're gonna add in some onion powder. And then of course, we're gonna add in plenty of garlic powder. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic as well in just a few seconds here. Add our garlic that we minced up and get all of this going. Mix all of this. Make sure you mix up that beef base really well. Break that down into your meat. Oh, this smells good already, y'all. For those that are just joining, we're making some pasta sauce by request. My daughter's first day of school is today here in Arizona. 
And so I told her I would make whatever she wanted. And of course, this is what she wants. This is one of her faves. And to be fair, this is one of my faves growing up. I like to add in a lot of veggies and stuff into my sauce. And she loves it. So, and of course, y'all know we're making it from scratch. All right. So let's, let's catch up to the comments. Derek says, also, what if her parents was caught up in something and the kidnapping was to send a message? Oh, I watched too much Law and Order. You know, like that, that could have been something that was plausible, to be perfectly honest. Like, you know, maybe they thought they can get some money out of her parents. I don't know. Like, if if that was the case, if, if the whole abduction thing was coming out to be true. Yes, with the hot sausage. My grandma. All right. I'm going to also add in my portobello mushrooms as well. If you don't like mushrooms, don't add them. But I will tell you this. Once you they cook up in here, y'all, you can't taste them. I do have some water on the stove in the back for our noodles. We're going to be using some whole wheat um, thin spaghetti. Right before the, I add the noodles to the sauce, I will be going ahead and adding in a bunch of kosher salt to our pasta sauce or our pasta water because, again, we want to what? Season as we cook. That's how we cook over here. We season at all times. So we got our meat season. I'm going to taste this, see how it is, see if we need any additional salt, and then we're going to keep going. Y'all, I can't believe this case. You know, for a minute yesterday, I felt bad about, about doubting this. I really did. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't talk about it on the live. Or if I talk about it, I'm not going to, you know, give my opinion because I don't want to skew anybody or I don't want to seem insensitive. But the more and more that keep coming out about this case, I don't even feel bad no more. Mmm. This is good. Keep in mind that if you put sausage, especially pork sausage, that will have some flavor too. That hot sausage adds a little kick. But if you are not in here for the spice, they do have sweet Italian sausage as well as mild Italian sausage. But we like a little spice over here. So why not? Real Bravado Network, you are a fool. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Y'all saw my kinders. <coughs> I'm not planning. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! I'm not planning on disappearing. <coughs> Outside of the fact that my bank account could probably use about 10 more zeros. I like my life and the BS that I've done, the, the wrong that I have done, ain't no running from that. It is what it is. And I hope that the rumors are not true about her boyfriend and son about he cheated on her and she was trying to do all of this because of a man. Child, please. <coughs> I have been hurt by a man before, but never in my life. Did a man make me want to fake my disappearance? Okay. All right. So let's start building again. And then I'm going to get back to the comments because we got to see what our uh, news reporters, Tasha and uh, Miss Peach Love, got to say. So first thing we're going to add to our little meat mixture here. Let me turn this down. Some tomato paste. <coughs> I'm just going to use the whole six ounce can. It was about a pound of ground turkey, and I used two of the hot sausage links. So I'm going to put all of that in here. Mix it up. Make sure you mix this really well into your meat, because we definitely need that. 
All right, let me turn up this pasta water so our pasta can cook at the same time. Ooh, this is looking good already, y'all. Smells yummy. All righty. Let's turn up this water. It really showed me she doesn't watch or listen to True Crime at least two episodes of Dateline or anything. <laughs> I'm just mad she played us all. The fact that her key pin and I think that is the thing. Like yesterday, I don't know about y'all, but everybody on the internet was like her parents in that interview, their body language, everything, it just was off. Like, we don't believe you, you need more people. Like it it just wasn't giving our daughter was truly disappeared and we're, we're concerned. It was, we're trying to protect our daughter from looking like a damn fool on international TV and internet. That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like to me, but y'all let me know. All right. So the next thing I'm going to be adding. Yeah, I ain't leaving my baby. I'm a mother. I'm a mother, okay? I ain't leaving my baby. All right, so the next thing we're going to be adding, Derek loves boozy food. We're not doing liquor today, but we are doing wine. We're going to be doing some Cabernet. I'm just going to... And if you are, if you're not a wine drinker, I highly recommend buying these little cartons of wine. This is only $2.99 at Kroger or Fry's. So I'm using red wine. You can use about a cup. It gives a really great depth of flavor. Like, y'all, if you've never used wine in your pasta sauce, I am encouraging you to do so. Of course, if we had like really pan seared the meat and whatnot, this will kind of deglaze the pan, get all the little, little drippings and brown bits at the bottom of the pan that's where all the flavor is so we're gonna let this cook for a few minutes get the alcohol off then we'll start adding in the rest of our ingredients for our sauce right tasha look exactly true crime even on the internet even on youtube there's so many youtubers that are doing true crime there's a whole true crime genre on youtube there's so many things like Hello, how to get away with murder on oh, um, Annalise Keaton. Girl, I just feel like they're, it's so disappointing. Like we have so much material to be able to get away or almost get away with some of these little crimes and stuff. And people out here doing dumb stuff like this. Carly, Carly, you disappointing me, girl. You are disappointing me. Oh, Lord Jesus. They're on one. <laughs> Y'all are talking about, I am not disappearing. I think we have all felt like that. We finally see one of us getting the coverage issue. Exactly. It's like a, a family member, like, really trying to, like, you, it's really like being disappointed in, like, your cousin or your kid or something. It's just like, dad, like, dang. I'm making jerk rasta pasta while you cook using my green seasoning. Good. Thank you so much for being here, Selena Mason. Thank you so much for joining. Again, y'all make sure y'all check out Smoke and Talk. Okay. Okay. So one of my friends actually sent me. Let's see if I can pull this up on the computer, y'all. One of my friends sent me this link. Praise God for Apple, because I can pull up links from my text messages here. I'm going to pull this up, see if we can watch this. This is good, y'all. I'm going to pull up and see if I can pull up the press conference. Y'all want to watch that? Yeah, shout out to Apple. 
Okay. Oh, wait, hold up. So this is this is kind of long, so we're not going to watch all of it. But we are going to watch a little bit of it. A few, few minutes. Just to kind of get some, some context. Uh-oh. Sorry, y'all. Push the wrong thing. Share my screen. All right. Share. All right. Let me know if y'all can see the screen. I'm going to play this. Let me put up the audio. Yep. Let me know if y'all can see in here. <laughs> okay, where is the man? Okay. Hoover Mayor Frank Bracato, spelled B R O C A T O. And Hoover Police Chief Nick Derzis, spelled D E R Z I S. You may also hear from Lieutenant Daniel Lowe, spelled L O W E, of the Hoover Police Investigations Division. Mayor Bracato will make a brief opening to help in this situation. The Hoover Police Department quickly rallied multiple partner agencies, stopping at nothing to find Carlin. I'd like to take this time to say thank you first to the Hoover Police Department. Okay. Our partner agents. This is part of the investigation in conjunction. Ms. Peach Love Department said we need to hear the police chief. After giving her time to rest. Detectives continue analyzing data from Carly's cell phone that was left behind at the scene. We enlisted the help of the United States Secret Service in conducting this analysis. Part of what data includes several internet searches. And the days leading up to her disappearance, that I think are rele very relevant to this case. On July 11th at 7.30 a.m., the term, you have to pay for an Amber Alert was searched. On July 13th at 1.03 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term, how to take money from a register without being caught was searched. On July 13th, at 2.13 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term Birmingham bus station was searched. On July 13th, 2.35 a.m., a search for a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville was conducted with a departure date of July 13th. On okay. <sighs> All right, so y'all heard... She Googled how to, all of this was happening the day she was supposed to be, that she disappeared. So she Googled how to um, get a one-way bus ticket. She Googled if you have to pay for Amber Alerts. She Googled all of these things. All of, uh, it, I'm about to put, y'all, this is disturbing. This is so disturbing. This is really disturbing. Um, I'm going to add in some diced tomatoes to our sauce. These are just regular diced tomatoes. No salt added or no salt in the diced tomatoes. I'm going to add that. And then I'm also going to add in some crushed tomatoes. A can, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. This one also has no salt added. Y'all know I like to keep up with how much sodium we are consuming around here. So if I am using any type of canned goods or something like that, or I like to use the salt-free versions. All right, let's watch more of this press conference. I'm going to be seasoning this up while the press conference is going on. On July 13th at 1210 p.m., a search for the movie Taken. A film about a production was what? conducted. There were two searches related to Amber Alerts on a computer at Carly's place of employment, including one regarding the maximum age of an Amber Alert. There were other searches on Carly's phone 
that appeared to shed some light on her mindset, but out of respect for her privacy, we will not be releasing the content of those searches at this time. We've asked to interview Carly a second time, but have not been granted that request. As you can see, there are many questions left to be answered, but only Carly can provide those answers. What we can say is that we've been unable to verify most of Carly's initial statement made to investigators, and we have no reason to believe that there is a threat to the public safety related, related to this particular case. Wow. Thank you very much. With that, we'll open the floor for some questions. Please raise your hand and I'll come. All right, y'all. All right. Here, I'll go ahead and drop, drop this link in the chat if y'all want to see more. Um, yeah. That is from Facebook, as you can see. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. All right. So I went ahead and salted my water. And then I added some of the pasta to the salty water back here. Alexa, set a timer for six minutes. Six minutes, starting now. All right. So, y'all, what y'all think? So now that we know that the police basically like homegirl lying, police don't believe her. The people on the Internet don't believe her. None of that. There's no threat to public safety, says the police chief. Where, where are we now? Like, where do we go from here? Are they going, are they going to, are they going to um, charge her with anything? I don't know how that worked with like the Jesse Smollett case, but that's what it's giving. Miss Peach Love has a good comment. Let's see what she has to say. I, now I bet money her defense will be some sort of mental episode. However, Google searches shot that down. Yeah, you, you, this was premeditated, baby girl. So you can't say nothing about mental health. Nothing about mental health because this was premeditated. All right, let's taste our sauce. See where we are with seasoning. I do have a, a controversial ingredient that some people don't like to put in their sauce. Oh, okay. So, of course, we need more salt. We just add in a bunch of tomatoes. So I'm going to add in some more of the Kinder's roasted garlic brown butter. I already added in some more of the salt-free seasoning. I'm going to add in a little bit more of the regular Italian seasoning and I'll probably add, I'm just going to add in a little bit of, of kosher salt as well because that kinder is not very salty and because there's no salt in our tomatoes, we got to add salt. Let's see. Oh, Tasha has a good comment. They charged that white woman and she had to pay back money used to search for her. Uh-oh. So did she really steal something from her job? Is it true that she got um, kicked out of nursing school? Like, what's the tea? What is the motive behind all of this? Like, why are you doing this? It really upsets me. It actually, like, pisses me off that she did this because, girl... How many women out here, like, for real, for real, lost and stolen? And you out here playing. You out here playing, and we got women in real life that are stolen. That we don't know where they at. So if it come out, if they want to charge her, you know what? I'm mad. Because you play stupid games, you win stupid freaking prizes. How about that? All right, we getting there, we getting there. Adding a little bit more garlic. Uh-oh. And then we're going to add in our ingredient. So y'all know I made this sauce from scratch. Y'all see me here. Growing up, 
my grandmother, if she did make her sauce from scratch, she just used pretty much the same standard ingredients, you know, garlic salt, onion powder, garlic powder, you know, green onions, all that kind of stuff, or green peppers, onions, garlic, all that kind of stuff. It wasn't until I got older that I saw people putting a little sprinkle of sugar in their sauce, right? And so one day I tried, decided to do that too, because I was like, you know what? I make my sauce from scratch, so... You know, I could see sugar kind of leveling out the acidity of the tomatoes and balancing out the flavor. And to my surprise, it actually did. It actually like tastes good. So I do put when I make my sauce from scratch, if I'm being quick and lazy and using a jar sauce, I do not add sugar. There is sugar already in jars and can spaghetti sauce. This is not to make the spaghetti sauce sweet, although if, if that's your thing, more power to you, but that is not my thing. I don't want sweet spaghetti sauce. I just want a balanced, well-flavored spaghetti sauce. So I do have a little sugar here, white sugar, and I'm going to use, not a lot, a couple tablespoons. If you want more, if you don't want any, don't add it. If you want a little bit more, you can. But as someone who habitually makes sauce from scratch, I will tell you it does help with the acidity and it does kind of balance the flavors. Helps a lot. Miss Peach Love says the chief said they're still investigating and he can't say if charges will be pressed. Too many black women go missing daily and she want to fake being kidnapped because her ex want a new woman. Ain't no, huh, baby girl, let me tell you something. It ain't never worth it, okay? I know that, you know, some women, they get ties, they get eggplant ties. <laughs> I, I, I understand. And sometimes, you know, you get you a decent man, a good man. And you be like, Lord Jesus, I do anything for him. I'm not faking my disappearance for no. I'm not. Alexa, stop the timer. It ain't worth it. And I truly hope for her sake that that's not the real reason why she did it. But she's 25. She's young, dumb, and full of whatever. I'm sure this is the reason why. All right, our noodles are almost done. Goody, goody, goody. I'm liking this. A little bit more salt. Oh, I got to refill my kosher salt bottle. This is lovely, y'all. So typically, I'd let this just go ahead and simmer away with the top on the pot. Typically, let it simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. The longer, the better. Y'all know with stuff like pasta sauces and things of that nature, the longer you let them cook or the longer you let it sit. Like pasta, spaghetti is better the next day because you got a time for the sauce and everything to gel together, to juice together. I'm going to put the top on and let it sit here for a few minutes while we go through the comments. Take our pasta off, clean up a little bit. All right, let's see. Tasha says, I use brown sugar in mine because I make mine from scratch. Yes, it's not a bad thing. Y'all just have to make sure you're not making sweet spaghetti. I mean, if you like sweet spaghetti, that's on you. I know some people who do. I've seen people put like bar barbecue sauce and all type of shit in their spaghetti. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> but that's just not me. I'll eat it if I'm at somebody's house. And I see that they made it. I'll taste it. But I, I ain't doing that. But you know what? Maybe next time I'll try the, because um, I have the brown sugar swerve. So I'll try that next time. I just saw Carly's toddler being breastfed. You know what? I am not playing with you, Real Bravado Network. I am not. I am not. Even a good man ain't worth disappearing for. We're not faking disappearances. So, y'all, with the press conference, 
it kind of threw a wrench in my little outline on what we was going, how we were going to discuss this case because I wasn't expecting more details to come out. But they have come out, y'all. We are now in a place where everybody can basically deduce that homegirl was lying. So what does this mean from here? Does that mean the next time a woman, specifically a black woman, actually does go missing? Are they going to ignore it? Like, are we going to take things seriously? Like, people have to think about their consequences of their actions and not just their own personal consequences, but other people's consequences. Like, we can't, we can't, we can't keep, this is not okay. This is not okay. It's not okay. And it actually pisses me off that she did this. And what really pisses me off is that her mama and her daddy got on national TV trying to keep up with her lies, knowing good and God dang well she was lying the whole time. I guarantee you the parents knew, maybe not from the very beginning, maybe they didn't, I don't believe that they had anything in on it, but I definitely 1000% believe that they knew before she came home that she was not abducted. She ran away. Tasha, this is definitely water cooler talk. This woman needs her kick for pulling this mess. They finally gave natural national coverage to a missing black woman and it had to be her. Damn shame. Literally. Literally. Like, for real. I think that is that is the, the sentiment of most people. Most people are feeling the same way. Like, bruh, like, do you realize how many black women have gone missing? I am from Cleveland, Ohio, y'all. Do y'all remember the black serial killer in Cleveland, Ohio, who was often black women? Most of them were like prostitutes or drug addicts. So did nobody really care? Did nobody really nobody? People reported them missing, but they never got news time. They never got coverage. And the only reason why this man was caught was because one of his victims was able to escape and she told on him and it ended up that they went to the house and they found remains of so many women, all of them black, that he had deleted after he assaulted them, luring them into the house with drugs and alcohol. The next thing you know, he, he murdered all of these women. And the thing that was crazy is that people in the neighborhood, and I'm very familiar with the neighborhood, is on the south side, southeast side of Cleveland. This is a very black neighborhood, y'all. And it's not a, it's a poor neighborhood too, but very black neighborhood, southeast side of Cleveland, Ohio. And that's why he was able to get rid of it because these women, nobody was really going to be looking too much for them. Like I said, a lot of them were either prostitutes and or drug addicts, right? All of these women were missing. These are the types of stories that like don't get airtime because of these people and their life circumstances and choices, whether right or wrong. The fact of the matter is they still somebody's family member. They're still somebody. They're still a human. So we should be looking for them. But they didn't get no airtime. But homegirl got airtime. And what she do with it? She played. And she knew what she was doing because baby girl was Googling mess before she faked this disappearance. Terrible episode of Gone Girl. Terrible. You know, you know, SVU gonna have an episode about this, right? Somebody gonna have an ep episode. I'm just chopping up some parsley because we're gonna get ready to plate soon, so I can show y'all and taste this sauce with our noodles. Let me know in the comments if you're one of those people that like to mix your pasta with your sauce, or if you'd like to put your sauce on top of the pasta. I am a put the sauce on top of the pasta girl, but I won't judge you if you do differently. Okay. All right. Let's see what else y'all saying in the comments. Oh, Derek said this, and I think he's right. I think we definitely should take it case by case, but unfortunately we live in the United States of America. I don't know. Yeah. Y'all remember this? His name was the serial killer's name was Anthony Sowell. I was actually living in Cleveland when this happened. It was like right before um, I got pregnant with my daughter. It was wild, y'all. It was so wild. And the crazy thing is, 
my I growing up, we have family that lived the street around the corner from where this happened. Like I used to be in this neighborhood as a child and as a teenager, because my cousin even lived over there. Both of my cousins lived in that neighborhood and we used to be over there literally around by the house that this man lived in. What's going to happen is what happens with teens. Instead of being listed, listed as in danger, they'll be listed as runaway. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me Shorty was lying? Yes, girl. Look in the chat. I went ahead and put the link. I'll put. I'll drop it again. I'll drop the link again. This is a link to Facebook. You can see the uh, press conference. I just showed a few minutes of it, but sis was lying. As a, many people suspected, people, what, today is Wednesday? People have been saying she's lying since like Sunday. So for like the last three, four days, people have been saying she's lying. Yes, yes. It was, that case was crazy. Okay, sauce on top, sauce on top. Um, police chief just said no sign of a kidnapper grabbing Carly and FBI is reviewing it now. See, that's another thing that I always wonder. Like they they showed some of the surveillance footage from the highway, but they didn't show it all. And I just knew from the fact that how they were not releasing a lot of details of this case that the police didn't believe her. Very early on, I think that they didn't believe that this was a thing. I can't wait till this become like a, a, a Netflix movie, a Lifetime movie, something. It's going to be good, y'all. Oh, this going to be good. Sauce is just about done. Let's see what else. They covered the submarine for days. We, I'm the black community, knew they was done. Yeah, we knew that. She kind of, I don't know. I don't think that we should punish other victims because of this fool. However, um, if there are some consequences to her actions, I am mad about that. It is what it is. Again, you play um, stupid games, you win stupid prizes. All right, y'all, it's time to play. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel. Again, I really wasn't planning on this live to go this way. I had it all outlined to where we were just going to discuss the facts. And I was just going to see what y'all think. I wasn't going to offer my opinion because I didn't want to be that girl, you know, shaming this woman. I didn't want to be that girl who was, you know, not believing that the black woman was stolen, but it comes out that this particular black woman was lying. She was lying. She played us. She played us all. And all the people in the comments on the shade room, on all these different blogs and news articles, I want all of y'all to apologize as well because y'all was going in on people talking about y'all are weird. Y'all can't respect her privacy just because they ask y'all to pray don't mean that y'all got to have all the details. Yes, the hell it do mean we got to have all the details. We were in an uproar on social media, okay? They had all the D9 out here posting about her. They had all the Black America posting about her. All the HBCU people. Well, I don't know. I probably made it up. But look, Black America was on fire. We was ready. We was coming hard for sis. And she played us. I'm mad. Brian Mason is in the building. Thank you so much for joining, my dear. Kirsten is here. Yep, all for a man. Now, I don't know if that's the truth. We do know that... Um, I'm going to put this sauce back here. We do know that she has or had a boyfriend... I'm not 100% sure if that's the circumstance. I mean, hell, like what? The day after she was found, I think it was that Sunday, the boyfriend came online 
and was like, oh, he, he said something too. Y'all, it just seemed weird. As the details came out, it just wasn't giving factual. And here we are. Here we are. All right. So let's get this together. We're going to first start with our noodles. I'm going to plate. So I used whole wheat noodles, thin spaghetti. All right. Let me pull up my camera. All right. So we have some whole wheat, thin spaghetti. I love thin spaghetti. Use any type of noodles you like. I like whole I like whole wheat pasta. It tends to be a little bit better on my digestive system. Pasta can be a little bit difficult for some people to digest like myself. So be mindful of that. Then we're going to add some sauce on top. Yes. Our sauce is nice and chunky. We got some lean ground turkey in here. We also have some hot Italian sausage. I cut up some onions, some garlic, some carrots, some mushrooms. It's a bunch of stuff in here. I like putting in vegetables and things of that nature in my pasta sauce because it allows us to uh, get more veggies in. I also use my green seasoning to season the sauce. Highly, highly, highly recommend that. I'm going to add in a little Parmesan cheese. Ah! Oh, shit. Almost dropped some out the, out the fridge. Okay. Let's go ahead and sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. Then we'll put a little parsley because y'all know I love to garnish. I love me some fresh, some fresh herbs. And here we are. We got our pasta sauce from scratch, y'all. So easy, so simple, so good. All right, let me get my phone. We're going to do a little picture and a video and then let's see oh i got a lot of uh notifications y'all picture video and then we'll taste oh this looks good there we go i'm gonna pull up y'all comments in just a minute our pasta sauce from scratch looks yummy. All right. Y'all in here making up movie titles for this dang on girl. Miss Peach Love says SV, SVU will do it first. I can't wait for Liv to get on the case. I know, right? Lifetime beyond the overpass, the Carly story. Y'all ain't shit. Tubi lies on the I-9 highway. The Carly... <laughs> Tubi definitely needs to do. I watched a Tubi movie the other day, y'all. The acting is terrible, but the plots be on one, okay? The movies are actually pretty decent. It's just the acting is just terrible. They get the cheapest actors they can find that overplay their roles, but hey, they, they be kind of good. She said they painted her nails like, <laughs> right. Like, come on, girl. To be honest, I don't think twice about it. Maybe there's something wrong with me. But this year in the news, there's been multiple cases where women were caught lying. I mean, people call lying all the time. But it's just like it's certain things that you don't really think about. Like who thinks about lying about being abducted? Like that's not a normal lie. I mean, not to say that any kind of lie is normal. I'm not saying accusing anyone of anything is OK. But like in real life. Who thinking to fake their disappearance? And for what? Why are you doing this? Tasha says, I live in a town where people go missing all the time. 
I didn't flinch on her being missing. I was happy she got coverage, but now I'm upset. Exactly. That same thing here. Because people go missing all the time in, in Phoenix, in Arizona. All right, y'all. It's time to taste. Here we go. My pasta. Fun fact, growing up, spaghetti was my favorite food. We would go to, um, my family used to love to go to Red Lobster growing up. When Red Lobster was good back in the day in the 90s. And I will always order spaghetti off the kids' menu. Mmm. Okay. It's giving pasta sauce from scratch. It's good, y'all. I mean, I'm so used to eating this. I don't know what to tell y'all. This is how I make my sauce. I love it. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you take the extra steps to make it from saw or from scratch. If you want to be real fancy, you can roast up your own tomatoes and make your sauce. I've done that before in the past. I know Tasha does that too. I've seen her do that as well. But if you've never made a pasta, a pasta sauce from scratch, start with canned tomatoes and then go from there. Canned tomatoes are perfectly fine to use. Perfectly fine. Uh-oh. My sorority convention is going on right now, and I'm getting text messages about who our new honorary members are. So y'all will see that post as soon on social media. Let's see. Any comments? Derek says, yummy. Thank you so much. Brian Mason says, look good, sis. Thank you so much, Brian, for joining again. Can you make a healthy Kung Pao chicken? Kung Pao chicken isn't bad. So yeah, I can do a Kung Pao chicken. It actually isn't bad at all. It's just sauteed chicken. Like, it's a matter of using a better quality oil. But stir frying is great for meal prep. Great, great, great. Because the key is using high heat and a good quality oil because we all need fat. Fats are good for hormones, all type of stuff. And fat tastes good. Let's just keep it real. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there was a GoFundMe. I heard on the news or online that they had given the money from the GoFundMe back, but I don't know if that's true. Anybody in the comments know if that's true? Go ahead and say something. I believe that they had raised about like sixty-three or $68,000 but I'm not 100% sure if they either returned the money or if they kept it. I don't know. But maybe she did. Maybe we'll find out what the reasoning behind all of this is. I definitely will stay tuned to this story and give y'all updates as we receive them. Thank you so much, Tasha. She says, looks amazing. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> this World Wide Web Wednesday. It has been crazy. All of these breaking news, all this breaking action about this Carly Russell case. We can now all agree that homegirl wasn't taken. It was a hoax. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining. I will be back on Friday. So keep a lookout for my live on Friday. If you have any suggestions on anything that you would like for me to discuss or anything that you would like for me to cook, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, my sexy is strong. You can email me Terry at my sexy is strong.com. And you can also reach out to me. You can also reach out to me on, um, damn, I just forgot <laughs> YouTube. You can leave a comment under the YouTube video, all that kind of stuff. All right, y'all. Again, thank you so much for joining. I will see y'all on Friday. Let's see. Last few. Really, Derek? Bigfoot. All right. Thanks so much, y'all. Y'all have a good one.